What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm playing a game called House Flipper on the Xbox Series X. Now this was an Xbox One game so we're playing via backwards compatibility. I picked up this game some time ago from Amazon and I wanted to show you it but I just haven't got around to it. Having played Train Station Renovation recently, I really felt as if this would be a good game for you guys to check out as well because I really feel as if uh, Train Station Renovation has been influenced by this game. It's kind of in the same ballpark, um, first person perspective, renovation makeover type game. And I think you'll see what I mean as we start playing. Um, first thing is just jump into the settings. So I just wanted to show you quickly, there's obviously different languages you can select. You can select different currencies, you can change your cursor. And there's a number of other things as well that you can do here by switching on the switching on and off the minimap. You can also, if you want to, change um, any cockroaches to broken glass just in case you're afraid of those or you don't like that for some reason. There's a number of other different options here and obviously graphics. Now I've got it on the highest settings and I've got the FPS limiter switched off. Um, I haven't had any problems with this game so far is in terms of performance. I think that it's quite well optimized, but have a play around with that yourself if you do decide to play this game and see how we get on. You can also see the controls there. I've got the um, Y axis inverted and also uh, in the sound options there, I have switched the music off just in case of any copyright issues there. But anyway, we'll go back and we will start a new game and we'll go ahead and, and make sure that that one's underway now. So I hope you find this video interesting. If you do enjoy it, please do leave me a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and do that as it would really help me out. And it'll also make sure that you see any videos I have up and coming. But for now guys, as we can see the messages on screen, hello, welcome to House Flipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office and the laptop that is your command center. So if we press A here, so as you can see, this is our place. Now it does say there that we can buy houses and sort of do them up, give them a makeover and sell them. But in the early stages, we are just gonna be taking contracts and I'll do a couple of those today just to get us started. As you can see guys, the graphics are quite nice here. I'm not too sure how well this will interpret to YouTube, but as I can see, it's quite a lot of detail in this graphics. Um, I'd say potentially this is running at 30 FPS. That's just a guess, but the resolution and detail is quite strong here. Now we can start off just by getting rid of this rubbish here by pulling on the uh, RT trigger like this. Um, like so, and we can then open the door. Now going in here, I don't know about you, but I can hardly resist to pick up this rubbish on the floor. So we'll do this again as it's so easy to do so. It's just literally a case of picking up these things. Now this is our shack. We'll get the door closed. And I think we can, oops, a daisy. I think we can fling the light on as well there. Uh, we've got a little bathroom area here. It looks like it could do with a bit of tidy up. I mean, you can literally grab hold of things if you want, just with the right uh, RT there. And we'll line it up nicely just above the sink. Something like that, even though it's smashed, we probably could do with a new one there. Um, there's a bunch of cleaning that'll be required here. Bit of a mess everywhere. And let's have a look. Well, yeah, that's an interesting take, isn't it? Bit of a performance thing there. There's a chainsaw here. We'll pick up this stuff and get rid of these um, newspapers for now. And this is just a decorative item by the looks of things. Um, I'm not too sure where we should put this. Let's see if we can put it on here. Um, maybe not yet. Get rid of this. Pick this up. Can we put it on here now. There we go. Chainsaw on the bedside cabinet. Anyway, for now, we'll get into the computer. So the laptop will allow you to find jobs, buy houses and switch between them. You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email. So let's jump into this and have a look at the mail. So it's from Sarah Lewis. We'll open this one. So ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. So hello. I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on face spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess and stole the radiator. 
It is possible that some other things are missing too. Please clean up in the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. So we'll accept this one. So literally by accepting that, it throws us into the mission, which isn't a bad thing. It kind of just deals with that very efficiently. And I like the way that it sort of just puts us into the location. We don't have to sort of mess around in any other menus. So congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to clean dirty stuff using the mop. We'll press A to close and we'll go in here. So this is the house that we're going to be cleaning up. And it is a case of just going in here literally and using the right stick here just to pick up the trash to start off with. So we'll get that out the way. Get rid of all this stuff, all this junk. Yep. Yeah. More stuff on here. Let's make sure we're picking up all the rubbish to begin with, I think. I think that's a good starting point. Um, make sure we can get in here, obviously. Working our way around. And is that the rubbish there for this particular room? We'll get in the bathroom. See if there's much going on here. Well, in terms of cleaning, I think that that's not too bad. Uh, we'll get this door open. Right, we'll start cleaning up this mess as well. Get this stuff picked up as so. Is there anything over here? No, okay. Right, so I think we've picked up the rubbish. We'll close this. Um, I think setting these in place might be a good option. Um, let's see if we can put this book here. And kind of put this lined up somehow. I think maybe like that. Switch these on. Oh, it's got a nice look to it already. And have we got our light switch in here as well? Right, okay. So, we can start by having a bit of a clean, I think. So, we'll get into our cleaning accessory, cleaning um, equipment, which is a holding, holding down on the um, LT side of things. And we've selected there our broom. So, we can start by, well, mopping, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. Just using the mop, as it's the only tool that we've got, just to clean up the mess. And hopefully, if if we go crack on like this, we may be able to unlock a skill point in a moment, which will help us to speed up this entire process a little bit. There we go. Turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend your new skill point on. So we'll open up the tablet. And let's see what this says. Okay, so that's a couple of items that we can buy. Uh, we're not going to do that for now. We're going to go into perks. And the new perk um, is available. So we've got an option. We can have penetrating vision, which allows us to see some dirt on the minimap. We can have fast hands, which is 25% faster cleaning or long range, which gives us a little bit of extra um, a little bit of extra range when it comes to cleaning up. I think what we'll do is just upgrade the speed and we'll come out of here and just crack on with this cleaning to start off with. There we go. Getting a nice bit of cleaning in there. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay, I think, think we're pretty tidy here. Let's get some cleaning done in this bathroom. Get this stuff done like this. Is there anything else that needs cleaning up? Oh, in the bedroom, look at the state of that. Right, there we go. Um, right. Right, let's get some, oh, there's some here as well, look at this. Is that wel welcome map clean, uh, mat clean? Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think what we'll do is, um, we'll just switch back to hand, and we'll just, oh, we'll switch two times there, right, we'll pick this up, we'll set this in place, and we'll pick this one up. We can rotate this using the D-pad or LB to give it a, an auto spin, uh, but that's fine there, we'll pick this up. And um, these things seem fine for now. Right, okay. Right, so what we're going to do now is just buy a radiator to go on this wall, which is the thing that's been stolen. So we're going to go into the tablet to do that. As so, let's have a quick look here. And we're going to get a radiator and buy that. And we're going to pop it on the wall here, like so. So that's that on there. And then we'll press A to assemble this. Um, now we switch to the left stick to move this cursor around and we want to be still pulling on the RT button there just to get things in place 
and we'll open this valve as well. So that's just completed the job. I think we're 100% there. So we can click down on the right stick to get things finished. You have completed 100% of the job. You may now complete the job for £578.88. Not a bad one, eh? Are you sure you want to complete this job? We press A to complete. There we go. Ah, nice one. I'm, you know, I am enjoying this game. I can't wait to crack on with it a little bit more. But what we can now do in our own place here, uh, we've unlocked the cleaning mop so we can start to clean up all this horrible mess and get this nice and tidy. See if we have to... Okay, we might have to just move this thing. Uh, no, I think that mark at the back there is actually part of it. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's see if we can get back into here and use this a little bit more here. Now, you don't really get any points for this as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong. As time goes on, um, we could do with maybe upgrading our base. Potentially a good idea. I don't know what happens if you do that. But as we go on, we'll find out. I mean, we're going to do an introductory episode here and take it from there, really. And as we crack on, um, we'll see what we can do when we come to buying houses and that type of thing. We'll probably do maybe two or three missions for this first one. So we'll get back into the laptop and get back to our mail. So we've got a couple of um, missions here. Look at the first one. From Caroline Smith, cleaning the garage. Hello, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all boxes, trash and old tyres. Please don't forget to clean the window too. It's better not to touch the tools though. My husband doesn't like it when somebody moves them and he can't find them afterwards. Regard, Caroline Smith. Okay, let's accept this one. So yeah, loading time's pretty decent on the Series X. Um, not too sure what it's like on the, the bog standard Xbox One, but yeah. If you've got a next gen. I was about to try and talk over that garage door opening. I was going to say, if you've got a next gen console, you probably find that this loads pretty quick. Um, it certainly does on mine, so I'm quite happy with it in terms of loading speed. As I say, the graphics are pretty decent, to be fair. Um, and the performance wise, I haven't really seen any sort of stutters or anything, so that's a good sign, although it would be nice to see it run at 60 FPS. I mean, I don't know whether if I knock down the resolution, and because the frame rate's unlocked, it might boost it a bit. Um, I might give that a look, actually, because, yeah, I mean, resolution isn't everything. Um, I think a smoother, smoother gameplay experience is um, appreciated overall in my, you know, for my personal taste. Um, let's get in here and see if we can get this stuff cleaned up. Right, let's switch to hand for a sec and pick up some of this stuff. Because we've gone in there straight away with the um with the with the with the mop. We really could have done with getting some of this rubbish out the way first. So we've got another skill point there. Pick up these things. And we'll go ahead and see what that's all about. I think just have a look here on the tablet. So, perks again. So, we've got another perk available now. So, fast hand, so 50% faster cleaning, some dirt on the mini map, or a bit of long range. I think we'll go for long range because that'll help us, I think, in some aspects if there's certain areas that we can't reach. And we're going to get rid of all this trash just by clicking on it, nice and straightforward, being careful not to touch the guy's tools. Although, I don't think it really sort of voids mission if you do do that. Um, get rid of these last couple of items here. And yeah, I think what we'll do now is just give the window a clean. So to do that, you just click here and then you hold down RT. And just to let you know, you move that around with the left stick. Like so. Might as well open the window, let a bit of fresh air in. But for now, we'll finish off, mop, finish off mopping. And Oh, we've upgraded that. Look at that. 
it's changed the now given us a different type of brush a little bit of extra range okay all tasks complete so jobs good I can't help but pick these bikes up though let's just stand them up why not there we go excellent right we're outside we'll finish oh we've walked into his car let's finish this job like so so you've completed 100% of the job you may now complete the job for £351.46 are you sure you want to complete this job we will so the first, so the first two jobs have gone really well there I'm happy with that we're back here now have you noticed that by using the gallery tab on the tablet you can choose from many images and use it as a poster or picture to hang on the wall? You can also use the camera tab to take photos of the game and also save your works. I haven't tried that yet but it might be something that I'll give a go. Let's have a look back in the mailbox. This one looks like an interesting one from Matt Marlow Baby on the way. So, hi there, my beautiful wife is finally pregnant. We're now more busy than ever before but very happy to. I have no idea what to get my hands dirty with. There are so many things that need to be done before our precious princess arrives. We're 100% sure it's a girl. We've gone ahead and bought a cute little house for the three of us. Unfortunately, it needs a proper clean and preparation for our baby. I hope I can count on you to get the house in order. I would also like to ask if you could prepare the kids room, buying the crib, changing station, possibly some toys. I put everything in your hands with this matter. You must definitely have to paint our princess's room a light rose colour. Right, so let's accept this one. We'll jump in here and get started straight away with this one. So I, I can tell there's going to be a decent amount of cleaning to do here before we start painting. But congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to paint walls with a paint roller. All you have to do is use the tablet to buy paint. Right, excellent. So let's get in here. Oh man, so let's just start by picking up trash. Uh, there's one lot. Get this door open. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. Let's get this stuff picked up. Get rid of all this nonsense here. Um, I can see there's going to be quite a lot of cleaning to do here as well. But for now, get rid of all that stuff. And... Right, okay. Bathroom looks okay in, fact, in terms of trash. Uh, plenty of stuff in here and okay we'll make the bed why not if the guy hasn't moved in though I mean surely he's not going to sleep in that bed with all the mattress and stuff on already anyway whatever let's get this stuff picked up and there we go so this is going to be the room that we're going to be decorating by the looks of things we'll switch the light on I think there we go right and We'll switch to our brush to start off with and get this thing cleaned as so. Wow, we're going to be quite a lot of cleaning to do here, you guys. And try and get this bit in the corner as well like that. Decent bit of action here. So what I'll do, guys, is while I clean up here, I will speed up the footage and just make it nice and quick for this particular cleanup.
Okay then guys, now that we've finished just cleaning up, I'm just gonna quickly check around each room. So looking in this room firstly, I can see here that we are 90% clear of dirt. So there must be something else somewhere that we're missing here. There must be some dirt. Um, I'm not, oh, there we are, look, right, okay, let's get this bit in, get this bit sorted, and then at least we know that we're well and truly on the right track with this one. 99% so there now, um, and I think that's fine. Okay, we've got all the windows open, because we cleaned the windows, so I opened them as we went, so I knew which one I'd cleaned. We closed that door, I think, let's have a look in the bathroom. So, this is clean, good. And also in here, this one's clean as well. So this bedroom's clean. The windows are open and everything in there. So that's fine. So we can close that door, knowing that one's sorted. Now this room. So we're 99% clean. And we're now going to paint. So let's close the door. Switch the light on so we can see. We'll switch back to hand. I wonder whether that's some dirt around there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anywhere. Switch back to hand. We'll pick this thing up and just move this out the way. Maybe put it like in the middle of the room because we're going to be painting the walls. Right, so in order to paint, what we want to do is just go into our tablet and oh, also while I was doing that, guys, I unlocked a couple more, um, a couple of perks as well. So I've got 50% faster cleaning. And then also on the negotiation side, I can get 10% extra payment. So that's two things there as well. So... We can do two things here. We can either go to store or we can go to tasks. Now, if we go to tasks, it just tells us immediately what we want, which is uh, we want some pastel pink paint, and we're going to get a large one of those. Although, if you see the prices, so small is seven sixty five, medium is fourteen twenty seven, and large is twenty six twenty six. So we'll go ahead and buy this one. We'll pop this in the middle here, and then what we'll do is um, we'll switch to paint brush, which is actually a roller. So we'll load this one up like so, and then we're gonna get it on here by just holding down and, and doing that like so. Now, you can overpaint, um, which is literally, basically will result in um, some waste of paint, obviously costing more money. Now, it doesn't do any harm as such, but you can certainly waste time and money by just doing a little bit too much um, on each thing. But as you can see, we're making good progress. We'll get this thing loaded up um, and we'll crack on here. So yeah, it's, you know, it's an interesting one, this game. I mean, I can't wait to see how it evolves as we go on. Um, so far, so good, I think. As I say, I think the graphics are really good. Oh, we've just unlocked a new skill point there. So let's have a look, see what we've got now. Let's go into our perks. And we've got a painting skill point. So we can do 20%, sorry, 25 percent faster painting. Paint two walls at the same time. And you won't waste paint on an already painted wall. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to do 25% faster painting. I think that'll help us load this thing up and see if we can get in on this bit. Is that faster? Maybe. Yeah, it seems to be faster. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're making some good progress. Okay, that one's a little bit off. See how we're doing so far, looks all right. Okay, good stuff. Right, let's get this in. Okay, we're making some good progress. Have you guys played this game? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. It is a little bit quiet in the comments, I do have to say. And I would love to hear from you guys what you think of the content, if you're enjoying the channel, and also if you've played any games like this. I'd love to hear about it. Has anybody played the Garden um, Flipper DLC? I've noticed that that DLC does exist, but it seems like... The only way to play it is if you buy it alongside this um, is the dig digital version. Now, I've already got the physical version, and as a physical owner, I don't think I can actually buy the Garden DLC. Now, I could be wrong. I'd love to be wrong, to be honest with you on that one. But, 
yeah, from what I've seen, it looks like you have to buy them both together as a digital package. I mean, I guess I could always sell this physical version and then pick up the um, pick up the digital version of both. But yeah, it just seems like a bit of a waste. I mean, I'm not against buying digital games. Probably this generation so far, I've bought more digital games than previously. But yeah, so it's given us the option there to complete the job if we want. I fancy going all the way with this one just to see what it's like. I mean, we might as well get stuck in, I think. We're taking a first look at this game here. Uh, well, we're taking a look at the basics at least. And I think just by completing this mission, I think that would be a good idea. As you see, now that we've upgraded, we've not really taken that long to paint each, each particular part of the wall. So that's a good thing. Um, let's get a little bit more paint on here, like so. And a bit of this, like this. I'm doing pretty good, I think, guys. What do you think? Are you enjoying watching this? Please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm quite interactive, you know. I do reply to almost every comment, unless it's... The only ones that I don't really reply to are if it's, like, a really simple, like, couple of words statement or if it's um, somebody asking, like, a sort of spam question. I stay away from those, um, but apart from that, to be honest with you, I'm happy to interact, I'm happy to interact on YouTube, I'm happy to interact on Twitter, and yeah, please do hit me up, I'm, I'm more than willing to sort of get involved, let's have a look, so, I think we're making pretty good progress, I think we need to do up here, that's a little bit more detailed, isn't it, there we go, well, at least it's a bit quicker because obviously we're not using a full um, full line of paint, full row of paint, or column actually, isn't it? Good column of paint, we're not doing that. So that's a good start. Making sure we don't miss any bits, I think, is important. I mean, I'm glad you can't accidentally paint the ceiling um, because I think that could be a bit of a nightmare. Is that this done properly? I think that's done now. Right, let's have a look over here. And we get a little bit more paint on here, like so. And get this thing sorted like this. And, oh, it looks like we've got another skill point. Let's have a look. A little bit more of this type of thing. We'll upgrade again and get a bit more speed. Because I think that's going to be helpful in the long run. And as you can see, that's really going on fast now. So, am I right in thinking that, generally speaking, um, we've completed there? Does it look all right? Have we missed anything? I'd hate to think we've missed something. Right, anyway, so in here we want a baby cot. A baby um, baby case. Carl, I don't know what that means. And cabinet with the changing table. Right. Um, can we get rid of this now? Okay, so we've sold this, and we'll sell this, I think. You don't want to earn money this way. Well, this thing's stuck in here. Can we not get it outside? Um, this thing is not required in here. This is for babies, I'm afraid. Dump that there for now. Right, now we've got a completely empty room, which is good. And what we'll do is we'll jump in here, and we'll go to Tasks. And as you can see, we can buy a baby cot. So there's this one, all different colors available. Oh, sweet, eh? So that's a sort of um, hmm, white. Oh, white, it says, tells us. Light gray is quite nice, isn't it? Pure white as well. Light brown, that looks quite nice. That sort of wood effect. Let's go with um, light gray. And then the drawer itself, white. We'll make it match. Go a light grey for that one as well. So we'll get this installed. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. And we'll put this maybe over here. Why isn't it green? Why is it doing why is it yellow instead of green? It's not filling me with, with much confidence. What if we can put, put this one under the window? How's that? Is that a good idea? Right, that's that installed. Um, a bookcase. 
once again back into here I think we can just select these things from here that'll probably be the easiest thing skinny grey light note black elm cedar cherry blackwood I uh, don't know what that one is and a wenge wenge um, let's have a look Let's go white with these ones, I think. Let's think about putting this maybe over here. What do you think of my interior design? Is it up to scratch? I'm not convinced. Okay, let's have a look. Cabinet with a changing table. So we can do a light, a pastel or a blue. Oh, pastel is quite nice. Okay, so we'll stick the changing cabinet may be here obviously they can move this round if they want can they? and what's this and um, what colors have we got here so we've got lily all these different things is there a violet what happens if we get one lily by this like so maybe stick it sort of here and then we'll stick one maybe um, somewhere else. Let's have a look. And we'll get that one violet. Stick this one over here. There we go. All tasks, com all tasks complete. Account balance. And we're going to get, whoa, we're going to get a decent amount of income here. So let's have a look. So we'll click down. On the right stick, £4,548.37. Yes, I do want to complete this job. I'll take that, that's for sure. Right, that's that one done. Right, let's have a look then, guys. Okay, so... Um, let's have a look on here, see what we've got for next time. So we've still got two. Okay, and, and those are the jobs that we've done, 100% of each of those. So that's excellent, guys. So next time we'll take a look at maybe these, rounding off these last two jobs or I might complete those and then we'll take a look and see where we go from there. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this video. If you've enjoyed this one, please do leave me a like. Please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking it out and I'll catch you again soon.